Ziki guides you through the process of using LoRa models in Comfy UI. Hi, my name is Ziki. Today, let's dive into incorporating a LoRa model into your workflow. It's all about leveraging its power seamlessly. Ensure you obtain the necessary components, research its functionalities, and align your workflow for optimal performance. Stay tuned for more insights and updates. Let's quickly bring Comfy up to the latest version using the manager. If an update is required, close the console, refresh your browser, and then restart. Simple as that. I'll step out of the picture from now on, allowing you to enjoy an unobstructed view. Let's utilize the model we recently downloaded. Simply select it here for an extra touch of flair. Start by creating a cool image of my friend, a stylish gothic lady, without the lower model for now. Let's capture that unique vibe. Let's choose a seat and lock it in, ensuring we can easily spot the differences later on. Alright, let's kick it off. Push the button, and let the magic unfold. If the image isn't quite to your liking, go ahead and tweak the seed. Let's see if the new seed brings the image more to your taste. Fantastic choice, with the seed adjustment. Alright, it's time to unleash the magic of Laura. We need the Laura loader now. You can load it right here. Now, let's connect the noodles, model to model and clip to clip. Easy peasy. Ah, uh, we need a LoRa model or two, don't we? Let's head over to Civit AI and find a LoRa model that complements a 1.5 checkpoint. Excellent choice. Detail Tweaker is indeed a fantastic LoRa model. Simply download it now. Now, copy that thing into the right directory, comfyui slash models slash Laura. To showcase the process more vividly, I'll grab the Chinese painting master's model that lived in Ming and Qing dynasties. Of course, Copy it into the same directory as well. One quick refresh, and let the show begin. Select Laura, press the button, and let's embark on a new creative adventure. Ah, I should input a keyword so that the model knows what to do. These keywords are specified on the Civit AI website. And a fresh attempt begins. Oh, that was the first try, and Ziki's a bit annoyed with these values. My bad. Let's not let that slip again. Another shot, and this time, we'll nail it. Seems like it was a bit on the low side, unless that's the vibe we're going for. Wow, much better already. Now, let's fine-tune the strength of the lower model. Or let's go all in, and incorporate the detail tweaker as well. Simply press the Alt key, copy, and connect it with the noodles. Select the lower model, and off we go. Here, we're already witnessing the enhancements. Quickly double the preview node by pressing the Alt key, drag it aside, rewire the noodles, and the original image stays for comparison. Now, I forgot to adjust the strength of the lower model, no worries, you can see it generates the exact same image. The red border indicates an error, which you can also spot in the console. However, we wanted the preview not to receive new information. 
So, all is good, let me tweak the LoRa values and give it another shot. Woohoo! Check out the ear or the details on the headband. Let's crank up the value even higher. And there we go, even more detail. At some point, though, it might be a case of too much of a good thing. I recommend checking out Civit AI for tips and suggestions from the creator of the lore model. And let's give it a go right now. Wow, that's already amazing. Now, let's try the opposite and reduce the details. Absolutely brilliant. This is working phenomenally well. I'm genuinely impressed with how seamlessly we can control and adjust the details. It's like wielding a digital paintbrush, crafting the perfect level of intricacy. Hats off to the creators for such an outstanding tool, the possibilities are truly exhilarating. Next up, I'll introduce you to ControlNet. Ah, uh, but in the next video. Or should I connect it right away with Murphy's new SDXL workflow? Well, a break is needed, not for me, but for Murphy. Until then, yours truly, Zicky.